What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be going over some players that you can buy right now. I think they're pretty affordable, down in price for the most part, and they're good cards as well that will instantly improve your Mutt Squad and help you win more games. We're going to start out at the quarterback position. I got two options for you. The first one is going to be Zero Chill Jalen Hurts, which last weekend was about 300,000 coins, which is kind of crazy considering Considering this card at this point is a little bit over a week old now he's up to 326,000 which I still think is a fair and good price for a lot of people and that quarterback I mean this is the most important position on your mutt team you should be spending a decent amount of coin now with Jalen Hurts he's going to get gift wrap for zero AP set feet lead is four AP gunslinger is two AP you can try playing without gunslinger I personally don't like to do so so if you want to rock that ability stack gunslinger or set feet lead gift wrap it's going to cost you six ap out of a total of seven which isn't terrible but it doesn't leave you room for much else on your offense so all in all this is a really good card and i'm not saying stay away from this one but personally i think auto graham is the better option here number one he's cheaper he's about 183,000 coins and number two you can get gunslinger and set feet lead on this card for five ap instead of six that's because gunslinger has a one ap discount discount on him but you know if you want to play with gift wrap you're gonna to have to spend that same one ap and it's gonna go up to six anyway the reason i like this card again aside from it being cheaper is that you can get the gunslinger and set feet lead together for five ap that leaves you two more ap available on offense so you can still use a slot apprentice or a running back apprentice or a jukebox or another ability that costs two ap on offense so it just provides you a little bit more flexibility and if i didn't say it already this card is down to about a 183,000 coins. He still gives you really good speed accuracies. This is currently my quarterback over on my no money spent squad. And aside from the Will Levis card that came out, the angry runs card earlier this week, I think Jalen and Otto Graham are probably the best two quarterbacks in the game. At running back, I have one option for you, but I want you to pay attention to what I'm saying first. It's AKA Bijan Robinson, which is an LTD card. And at the time that I'm making this video on average, Average, he goes for about 475 to 480k I don't want you to spend that much on this card the reason I'm bringing it up is because I think with patience number one you might be able to find him for closer to like 430 450k which being that he's an LTD and quick sells for 350k we're looking at a rental under a hundred thousand coins there's a handful of 93 speed running backs in the game and he is one of them the majority of them aside from work done which I don't think is a very good card the majority of them are fairly expensive but the other reason i say keep an eye on this card but don't buy it yet is that with the cover athletes reveal probably happening on twitter at some point this afternoon I would be willing to bet we're going to see a running back because if you look at the list of potential names for that promo, there's really only quarterbacks and running backs left. There's a few exceptions like OBJ, Antonio Brown, but I doubt he actually sees a card. If you look at the remaining list of players, it's, you know, Eddie George, Sean Alexander, Barry Sanders at running back, Peyton Hillis, and then a bunch of quarterbacks, Mike Vick, hopefully Donovan McNabb, Tom Brady, Drew Brees. I mean, I think you get the point. Vince Young here. So there's just not too much room for anything other than quarterbacks and running backs and if we get a, another brand new running back in the game we just got Saquon Barkley as well I think this Bijan card continues to drop in price so just pay attention to it uh, you can get running back apprentice on this card for 2AP he also has that freight train x factor on him and I actually got him at like 440k on no money spent so he's my current running back over there for wide receivers again there's Tyreek Hill with 95 speed there's Larry Fitzgerald with 94 speed and then a pretty good group of 93 speed receivers and three of them are really really cheap whereas Fitz and, and, and Tyreek Hill are both over a million coins uh Deshaun Jackson's down to 231,000 coins now he's a little bit on the shorter side there but 93 speed 91 spec catch his regular catch is 90 uh, his route running hits the thresholds it's all 90 plus short 92 mid 92 deep 93 you can play him in the slot he can play an outside receiver just overall a really good card and you know we're mostly all looking for 
for speed and height on our receivers and he does give speed and he gets a handful of theme teams as well Andre Reed is a legend card that came out a week ago and he was in our video last weekend because he was like 350k uh, he's down to 270,000 coins out of the three receivers I'm going to cover in this video I think he's the best one to pick up 93 speed but he's also six foot two 94 catch 95 catch in traffic again his route running hits the thresholds there 90 for short and mid 91 for deep I picked up this card on both no money spent and my main team last weekend and, and he was very very good for me he's still on no money spent but got replaced by the brand new Julio Jones over on my main team and then one other eagle for you sorry guys if you think I'm being biased but I mean it is what it is here's another 93 speed receiver he's a little bit more expensive at 320k that's why I said I would take Andre Reed over everybody else but Devontae Smith's team of the week card here 320k six foot even 93 speed again route running hits the thresholds 92 short 91 mid 91 deep his catches at 93 catching traffic not very good so you may want to you know not play him as a slot receiver or not give him a lot of routes that are over the middle where traffic is but all three of those receivers very good pretty good speed obviously at 93 and they all can get slot apprentice for 2 ap which is the recommended ability on all of them in my opinion moving over to defense give you a couple pass rushers here's a super budget one right now all madden Derek thomas still has 90 speed when you look at all the defensive ends and outside linebackers i think we got a few at 92 speed a handful at 91 and then he's sitting there at 90 he also gives you 91 power move 92 block shed and 86 finesse for 118,000 coins I, I think that's a steal and you can rock him without any abilities when I used him that's what I went with and he still had some pretty good uh, pass rush he still generated pass rush pretty frequently so really good budget pass rusher and then TJ Watt just like Jalen Hurts a week ago he was about 300k he's up to 314,000 coins but I still think a card that's worth it at that price point 91 speed on him 93 block shed 93 finesse move his power move is only 82 but he does give you good play rec good tackle good acceleration as well and this has been another card especially for the coin has been very productive for me on my team when it comes to defensive tackles there's really just one option when we're looking at best player plus you know how much you got to spend plus abilities it's going to be all madden william refrigerator perry only 80 speed but he's 335 pounds size definitely makes a difference when we're talking about defensive tackles who are trying to you know hold down the middle of your defensive line whether it's a three or four down lineman set he gives you 94 strength 87 tackle block shed at 92 finesse move 88 power move at 94 and i do recommend inside stuff on this card to get the best production out of him especially to stop the run game he goes on average for 136,000 coins that to me is tremendous value for what you're getting on the field versus the coins that you're spending let's talk cornerbacks another all madden card notice the theme here all of these 91 all madden cards really really inexpensive and it's just a key to building your team if you're not going to spend a ton of money or you're strictly no money spent you can still find these 91 and 92 overall cards now that we're seeing 93s and 94s if you just focus on getting good cards and not the shiny new card that everybody wants that's overpriced you can build a very very good team for cheap this champ bailey card is extremely good and he's 130,000 coins 92 speed again we got you know a couple 94 speed cornerbacks uh, a handful of 93 92 is still good enough here you give him that six foot even 90 man coverage 90 zone 91 press 91 jumping agility and acceleration are good as well he can pretty much fit any scheme for you i'm gonna go pick artists for 2 ap on this card if we're talking abilities but overall for that coin really really good i think one that's slightly better here and not that much more as far as coins goes is harvest joey porter jr and it's another theme just like all madden cards being in the low 100ks all of these 92 overall harvest Harvest cards are roughly around two to 225,000 coins. This being one of them, six foot two with 92 speed, 93 man, 89 zone, which if you're running a lot of zone, you should be using a strategy item that boosts up that zone coverage and whatever you're using would get that to the 90s, which is going to be good enough for him. Uh, but he's tall, he's fast, he can cover, he's got good acceleration. He also gets pick artists for two AP and that would be my recommended ability. And then the final one, you know, this whole focus or the whole focus of this video is to give you cards that are inexpensive. I'm going to break the rules a little bit on Zero Chill Rasul Douglas. He's 470K, which I still think for what you're getting isn't that bad of a price because he gives you 94 stock speed, 93 man, 91 zone. His press stinks, so you do have to stay away from that. 
But, you know, he's six foot two, so he's tall enough. He's one of the fastest defensive players in the game. He can cover. He gets a handful of theme teams. But also, you got a zero chill strategy item that you can earn from knocking out your objectives in the field pass that will give you plus one speed to him, plus two man, and plus two zone. So it's very easy to get this card without even a theme team to 95 speed, 95 man, and 93 zone. So I think for 470, it's definitely worth it. And above all that, he gets pick artist discounted at 1 AP. Really love this card. Jeremy Chin is going to be a great budget-free safety right now. Another harvest card here. On average, 200K. You can go pick artist for 2 AP or deep out zone KO for 3 AP on this card. 6 foot 3, 92 speed, 89 man, 93 zone. Only 80 hit power, but I still think, even though he has low tackle and hit power, he's not a bad user option at sub linebacker because of the height and the speed. But I think he's probably going to excel a little bit more here as a zone defender or a, a pass coverage guy playing as the high safety rather than in the box, but super versatile. And then we close it out. I'm not going to put CD Deuce in the video this week, but you're getting another Eagle because Brian Dawkins, his Redux card has dropped a lot in price. It's all the way down to 209K. You think about when his LTD was out there, this card was basically a million coins forever, uh, and eventually the Redux card has crept down now all the way to 209. He can get pick artists for 2 AP as well. Six foot even, 92 speed, 92 zone, 90 man, 94 hit power. I primarily play him as a sub linebacker, so he's a user in the box to come up and try to stop the run as well. And he does a pretty good job at it with only 81 tackle and 82 pursuit. But if you want to play him as a high safety, he has the height, the coverage attributes, the pick artist ability, the speed to do all of that as well. So he can excel in any type of setup on defense. And there you have it. Those are the cards you should be buying this weekend to make your team better and save yourself some coin. Let me know who you guys picked up to improve your squad over the weekend. Thank you for watching. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.